Ebola, which claimed the lives of thousands across Africa over a two-year span from 2014 to 2016, has made a return. The current outbreak has been confined so far to the Democratic Republic of Congo, where 25 people have already died from the virus. But Ebola is among many threats that infectious disease specialists around the world are tackling. Influenza remains a constant worry. The 1918 flu pandemic claimed between 50 and 100 million lives. Dr. Anthony Fauci is the director of the U.S. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease. He says the 2017-2018 flu season was the worst in the past decade. Fauci's greatest fear is respiratory diseases because those spread easily among travelers. He adds that economic disparity often is a key factor in a global outbreak. Right now, we're in this somewhat compromised situation where we have to chase after pandemics. We react to them as opposed to preemptively being prepared for them. And the reason for that is that influenza particularly, which is the one we worry about the most, even normally from season to season, tends to drift or change so that the vaccine that is available this year for this strain, next year the strain may change just enough to make it necessitating to get a new vaccine. Now, we do that in the developed world. We get a new vaccine every year. It's costly, but we do it. In a developing country that has so many other health problems, they almost can't afford to do that from year to year. Now, if a pandemic comes, they're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Fauci says the development of a single universal vaccine would be a landmark achievement. If you had a vaccine that you could stockpile, the way you stockpile measles vaccine, polio vaccine, smallpox vaccine, which thankfully we don't even need anymore, then you're way ahead of the game, particularly in the developing countries who would really have a problem with mobilizing immediately to respond to a pandemic. Many non-governmental organizations are among those working to fight centuries-old diseases. Ambassador Mark Legon is the chief policy officer for Friends of the Global Fight. He says successful efforts at fighting some diseases have ironically contributed to the resurgence of others. Tuberculosis has existed for centuries. We have a way of treating it if people would stick with the treatment for the several months, and yet 40% of those who, who have it, um, it, it hasn't been discovered, and they're carriers. Why? Um, look, a lot of people have it as a latent disease, that they're not actually you know, suffering from the severe um, conditions, but that they're carriers. What's interesting is, in part because of the success of fighting HIV AIDS and, and slowing the growth of that problem, now, as of 2015, TB is the biggest communicable disease killer. Um, the biggest of AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria, and the eighth uh, killer of any sort uh, in the world. Legon says President George W. Bush's initiative to fight HIV AIDS globally is credited with helping prevent eight million people from dying from the disease. He believes a greater focus on the most pervasive diseases will yield success against others. Robert Raffel, VOA News, Washington.